You're probably wondering why I am bald right now. Well, let's just say I got a bit too excited with the new construction update that I ended up shaving my head. It's a long story. If you were live on the live stream, you probably know everything that went down because we looked at all the features, secrets, everything, and we're going to kind of comprise it into a video today here. So hit that like button, subscribe, and then we'll post it because we're going to get the make it go ding. With that aside, we're going to be looking at everything in the new construction update. Yes, that is correct. The construction update is out. It's real. It does exist. It's not, a, it's not an imaginary made-up thing. It's real. So... Let's not waste any time. Let's explain everything that needs to be explained. And uh, let's see what house is going to be good. I have to say I have a favorite lot now after this update. I don't know why, but I love house number 23. Now, I'm sure a lot of you already probably know there are two new plots of land unlocked, which is pretty cool. But let's go ahead and spawn this and let's spawn the new house. Because we're going to be trying to work our way through all these features as quick as we can. And showcase to you guys all the little secrets and things that you may have missed personally in this update as well. So starting it off with the new RP set, which is the construction. It's pretty cool. So... The new construction site is full of all kinds of little secrets that might just surprise you. There's a lot of material, a lot of stuff around here, and this is the perfect way to start into construction. You know, honestly, I have to say this really surprised me. This update really surprised me just with what it was introducing, what is possible in this update, and what we can use even as far as extending to the vehicles is just unbelievable. It's mind-blowing. So if that's not enough to like this video, like I don't know. Anyway, so here we go. Here we go. Now, we have six construction RP sites that you can utilize for your throughout your construction ways. Now, this is really cool. And I remember talking about the possibility of this being something that could be perfectly added into Brookhaven ages ago. Uh, I, I was talking about the construction update and the, uh, the possibility of one and the ability to be able to go and cycle through different forms of your construction just like you can uh you know pick like different versions of like the museum the auto shop whatever but be able to pick through different versions of the construction site now my prediction was there was going to be like a tall skyscraper or something that was very much so in construction like an estate or something but he managed to comprise it into a house an rp set uh that evolves into a premium house which is very interesting now if we go ahead and start with the first lot here this is going to be the beginning stages of clearing our foundation out and finding a secret energy crystal pyramid. Maybe not that last part, but there is some interesting things revolving some of the secrets and things that just don't quite add up, and I think there's something hidden underneath it all. So if we scroll down to the vehicle interface, we're going to see two new additions not far from the tractor. That is the excavator and the bulldozer. Now, why there wasn't like a, 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 a mixer truck, what are there? There's a cement, you can mix cement and stuff in them, and uh, a few other very valuable and essential pieces to construction. Uh, why they're not there, I'm not exactly sure, but uh, yeah, so this is the excavator. Fully functional and does work on the construction site. Nowhere else, but it does work on the construction site. So if you come out here, you'll be like, oh my god, I want to dig this random piece of dirt and it doesn't do anything but if you come over to your construction site it does do something so let's come over here let's dig this and you will see clearly oh my god dude we did something we put a dent in it didn't we okay so here we go we're gonna put this here dig this Whew, this is so cool right so yeah you could do that and you could dig the construction site all up and clear it out and that's the excavator one of my personal favorites if i do say so myself now here is the bulldozer. So this is pretty cool too. Um, so if we come here, we can start just kind of look at this dude. It, this thing cleans it quick, dude. This thing is no joke. This thing just pushes all that debris out of there like it's nothing. Look at that. Let's just get all this going. Let's get a clean strip going down here. Holy moly, dude. Look at this. We are cleaning it out. It is easy. Don't mess with this, dude. Now, you can't get these little end pieces for some reason, but this site can be fully cleared out. Uh, with any of the two vehicles, or you can use both of them. Uh, we had like a thousand people working on the construction site on the uh, live stream, as you would expect. But yeah, so we can literally sit here and do this for the whole construction site. Now, I'm not going to do that because that would just take extra time in the video and there's nothing hidden in there. So, uh, sadly, that's the case. Let me change my time to this and that. Okay, so yeah, sadly, there's nothing hidden under here. I thought maybe I was going to feel like Mr. Brookhaven for the first time and I was going to be able to find these, some energy crystals in here that were going to blow me away. I think it was a perfect opportunity to add a little secret something something like that but uh yeah nope very much not so you just have you can clear it out and it looks like a clear land ready to put the foundation in which will bring us to our next point which is the under construction number two so this is the second part of the build slowly getting the foundation down everything configured um this is where that is and now the cranes also introduced the gigantic crane dude i i you don't need a crane to build a house <laughs> you don't need that wolf pack but i'll take it because we've been talking about a crane for like ever 
and, and I love cranes and it, it can't assist. Uh, so as you can tell, we can take some of the pieces off of the semi truck, uh, use it to put it where we need it and make the building process, yes, maybe possibly easier. So uh, right here we have the porta potties as well, which is a place you can poop when you're on the construction site. Uh, this has poop in the toilet. There's like tons of poop in the toilet on these. I don't know why that feature in addition was necessary. But yeah, that's a little secret Easter egg, I guess. You can find a ton of poop in the porta potty, which is not surprising, really. But um, yeah, so we got the crane here. Now, what crane maneuvers can we kind of go through? Well, you can also, don't forget, you can turn these lights on and off. These are new props that got introduced. You can place these throughout the map as well. Uh, we got eight new props in total. We'll kind of go over those in a little bit. But um, yeah, so this is the crane. If we go all the way to the top, uh, the tippity top, uh, we will be able to get into the little driver's seat here and we can move the crane around. We can also change what we're holding on the crane by zooming in and pressing this button. You can see now it changed to that pipe. Uh, then it changed to this wall piece, um, the uh, like maybe a roof piece or a ground piece, and then it changed to nothing. So what I do wish, what I do wish with this crane was is that we could actually stand on this. Now, if we could actually stand on this and get our friends on here and like swing them around, I think that would be so fun. I would really love to have something like that. So, but sadly we don't have it. Um, all right, so, hey, yo, that's a long fall, dude. Luckily this is a uh, brick All right, so that's the second one. Now moving on to the third stage. The house is slowly coming together. The floor has been laid. Oh my God, we almost got everything and the second floor added. So if we come in here, we can see the second floor is now being added very nicely. We have everything being constructed. No plumbing, no nothing yet, but still the basis is there and things are really shaping up on the build. And uh, actually there is some plumbing here, right here. Um, slowly getting introduced. So yeah, and the porta potty is now moved over there and, and that's the third build of the house. Pretty nice. Now let's go on to the fourth, which is then going to really be shaping it up, shaping it up. You can go to the top of the roof now the second floor has already been established. Everything is pretty much good to go. We just need to finish installing the lights and everything in between. Here's the roof. You gotta put the final bit of underlayment and uh, shingles or whatever may be proper for the roof here. And then it will be good to go as well. Pretty nice. So hop down here. Uh, we have all this here. We can turn our lights on or off. These are the only current lights available for us right now. We get the pool already about to get built. The pool's not ready yet, but this is where the pool will be dug out ready to be placed of course this will go on the side of the wall right here this little layer there um then we got all this stuff that's got to be laid down the bathroom here bathroom number one then we go to the second floor there's like two bathrooms and uh the master bedroom right here so there's that and now let's go to the final one here guys the final one not the final actually we're almost there we're almost there so we got this one so now is this the one I was just on? I don't think so. No, 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 no. Okay, this is where the door, everything is starting to get added and it's almost finalized. We have the showers here that need to be installed, a toilet that needs to be installed as well. What? <laughs> and then once we get the toilet installed, see the sink, some of the plumbing, the cabinets, the pool is now dug out, ready to get activated in full. Uh, and everything like that. So yeah, guys, these are the processes in which it just continuously evolves. Now, with this final one here, people have been always asking, how do you add and finalize adding the furniture in the house? So I wanted to go over that and talk about that. So this one's almost complete for sale, open house. Look at that, guys, the house is for sale and open. We have completely built it. We've done everything that we need to do, and now it's time to, where's the horses? Okay, this house doesn't come with horses. You guys are lucky. All right, the, the first one we built came with a lot of horses, okay? Don't ask, don't ask, don't tell. Um, but yeah, so you come in here, it's an open house, and maybe you or your friends will be looking around for your next lovely home to build a family with. Well, this house also has a safe location in here, but it's not actually in this house. So um, in here is gonna be where the safe location is for your premium house. Now this was very odd, but uh, you can build this house up to where it's ready to be so. You cannot actually add furniture in this house specifically as an RP set as it evolves into the premium house. And that is what the premium house is. If you look closely on the housing here, you will see this house looks awful identical to this one right here, the new premium house added. That means that <coughs> the RP set evolves into what you can then switch to the premium house. So now if we do this, you will see the house that we just built in its finalized glory with furniture and everything in between. This is cool. So if we come in here, now we have the furniture. Now we have all the missing pieces of the puzzle. And uh, now we can also see the safe, which you jump in here and there's the safe location. So easy there, dude, easy, easy. So 
With that aside, what is next, you ask? Well, the new RP set and premium house have been seen, but what about the new vehicles? Yep, we got those too. What about the new semi-truck additions? Well, let's look at those. So if we come down here, we'll spawn this and we will go behind so we could change this right here. Open up. All right, so we're gonna have to cycle through quite a bit of these because they're towards the end, but they're still pretty nice, not gonna lie. Okay, so there it is. This one you will see is a truck consisting of a lot of the frames already kind of pinpointed out for you, just ready to be placed. And it looks like we got a lot of the walls. One, two, three, four um, walls, maybe some of the other pieces there, um, the, the pillars and stuff. So yeah, that's pretty cool. You have that. Now, if we go to the next one, boom, it's the rest of the stuff, the flooring, the siding for the walls, maybe the roof is in there too, yep. And uh, then that's everything you need to fully construct that house right there. Pretty darn cool, dude. So now what's the next thing to look at? Well, that would be the new plots of land. Let's go ahead and hop on our, uh, let me get this. The little scooter ain't gonna hurt no. I, I'm a bald guy on a scooter, dude. You can't make this up, I'm telling you. All right, let's go 200 speed on the scooter, dude. And we're gonna go check out the new plot of lands because they are the best additions yet. So you guys remember where we always talked about a potential volcano being added? We're like, dude, it's a perfect place for a volcano. I don't see a volcano ever happening anytime soon now. A volcano was a little bit erupt and too much of a natural disaster to handle its own good. But if we come down in here with this giant hill where you have the drones up there, you would see a left that you could take now that leads you into a place called Hidden Valley. Hidden Valley is full of secrets of its own as it would, as you would expect in a valley. A cave full of Bigfoot and other scary encounters will definitely be making its way. So Hidden Valley is one of the new plots of lands and personally one of my favorites as it reconstructs structure the map in a way that I never thought was possible. I love it. So now we're going to be making our way over to the summer camp because there is also a new plot of land there that we can use that is just so darn cool. So if we come over here, ah, oh, it's a nice day at the summer camp, but we can now add a house right here at the summer camp lakeside. Doesn't get much better than that. So what in the world? Dude, I'm getting attacked by a, what is this? I'm not even editing that out. Okay, there was a bug attacking me, dude. Anyway, so yeah, a lakeside is uh, right here. It's a nice little lake getaway. You can't beat it. So uh, I think there's definitely gonna be like a cabin or something introduced in the future. It just makes sense. It would be cool to see a cabin here uh, 100%. So what secrets are lurking around here? Well, we're gonna need a flashlight for this one. We're definitely gonna need a good old flashlight. Let's get that out and let's start searching. So. Once we have our flashlight, we can now enter Paradise Falls. So Paradise Falls now isn't just like an empty cavern that leads to nothing. It leads to something. Something very spooky. And I see a lot of potential updates coming uh, with this evolving onto its spookiness into the future. So right here, we can hop through here and it will lead us back to Hidden Valley. You can also access the cave through Hidden Valley. But if we continue to go deeper into this cave, it's going to continue to get creepier. We're gonna reach a part where these rocks are back here that will open as you approach them. Odd as it is, there's a slight source of light coming in from somewhere, but there's nothing in here. Why does that rock open by itself? Why is it there and what could be the, the reason behind this little hidden cave? Is it an entry to something more, an agency bunker or something that we have not yet encountered, a secret that is yet to unfold? That's why I definitely think, guys, we are going to be live streaming tomorrow, finding every remaining secret in this update and finding out what the purpose of this cavern is. There's nothing in there. So I think there's definitely something secret lurking, and we're going to find that in tomorrow's stream at 10 a.m. EST. We're going to be live. Make sure you guys are watching that because it's going to be a big one. Now, on top of that, there's also the new ability to purchase items in the Avatar Editor interface. What? Yes. So if we go here, and we search anything in the avatar. Um, we got the marketplace here, the marketplace button. Uh, we can type in Luffy. So say I wanna buy this Luffy face, I think it's great. Oh my God, that looks so scary. I can now click over here and click buy. I can buy it for 32 Robux, whatever the price of that individual is selling the item for, we can then buy it now. So let's give myself some hair. Okay, that's perfect. I can also buy this. This one's probably expensive, 65 Robux. There you have it. So. While I can use these in the Avatar Editor Marketplace for free inside of Brookhaven, I can't take it outside of Brookhaven for my character. So say if I buy that hair and I really like it and I want to take it across other experiences, I wouldn't be able to do that unless I do purchase it here, which I can now do through Brookhaven. This is a great way to ensure that Brookhaven can also promote UGC items and promote the, the sell of them in a sense. And I think it's a really great thing because the creators on these items usually work really hard and it's cool to see that as a feature that has officially been added. 
The final thing on the list that we have yet to cover is, of course, the use of new props. Eight new props have been added, and if we scroll down here, a lot of them have to do strictly to the construction interface. So you will see a few, like the lights. Uh, some of these we've had before, but this one, little, uh, what is this, some pipes that's busted, is new. This one also is new. Um, so there's a couple new ones here scattered throughout. You guys know how incredibly hard it is to find specifically when it comes to the... Uh, these look new as well, new signs that you can add. But you guys know how incredibly hard it is to see and find the new props when they do get introduced because they're hidden most of the time. But yeah, there's the eight new props, and that's pretty much the basic rundown of this update. Of course, we got a lot more to deep dive into, which we will tomorrow. Of course, like I said, we're going to be trying our best to live stream tomorrow as well, uh, looking over some of the secrets and things that we missed. So yeah, with that aside, love you guys so much. We'll see you all in the next one.